Hi everyone and welcome back to Susie's Singers. The machine room's actually looking quite a mess tonight. There's actually a good reason for this. Um, hubby's um, allowed me to have a basement room. As you know, I've acquired quite a lot of new sewing machines this week. Well, new to me sewing machines this week. There was a lot stored in here that I don't actually use. So I've um, had a little bit of a triage thing and a lot of them are getting moved downstairs into the basement. I'm going to take you down there now. I'll see you soon. Okay, here we are down in the basement room. Please don't think of this as being of an elephant graveyard for sew machines. The reason most of them have ended up in here is actually I prefer to use sewing machines that are very good mechanically but maybe not so good aesthetically and a lot of these machines I actually feel like they're too good to use um, as you can see there's a featherweight in the box there um, I've got a fantastic um, 128k and I just don't want to use them because they are just too nice um, the Singer 201 that I got yesterday, again, it's beautiful. I don't want to scratch it with pins and stuff like that. I have actually got six of these, so, you know, I've got a good choice. Um, I might as well use my old ones. Nice little unit here. I'm going to use that to store duplicates of feet, pedals, um, motors. Now, this is a basement room. It's not tanked. But we're here in Scotland and over the winter the temperature will be quite a stable 15 degrees centigrade because the boiler room is next door. Um, I have put the um, machines that are underneath this, it's actually my daughter's old midi bed, but it's actually working great as a shelving unit. Um, very, very strong and it allows good ventilation. Some of the heavier machines, the 201s, um, there's oh, what else is there under there there's a couple of um jones that are very heavy full size full metal machines put them on top of an old duvet and i will actually be running a dehumidifier in here shouldn't really be necessary but like i said this isn't an elephant graveyard this is somewhere that the machines can actually be kept um safely and i will come down probably once a month and give them a good oiling and just make sure that they're okay um so that means that i can actually get the swing arm machines that i think that's probably where my passion lies up into my sewing room okay thanks for watching and i'll keep you updated with more videos shortly thank you